Hi guys, Cedar Transit Camper. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Really appreciate your support. If you do fancy giving us a little subscribe, that'll be good. Help grow my channel. If you've clicked on this video, it's because you're interested in seeing the new power supply that I bought for my Chinese diesel heater. It was recommended by Martin Butler from Retro Restore, and he's done a number of videos on these diesel heaters. Uh, we're not calling them Chinese diesel heaters anymore, I suppose, but they are made in China. So you can hear mine in the background just starting up there, and that's because I'm using the new power supply because the way I used to use it with a battery charged from solar panels off the roof, waste of time, wouldn't work for me. So let's get stuck into it. Let me show you this power supply. So this is it. It's a 15 amp regulated power supply. It's by a company called Mercury and Martin Butler gave me the link for it, which is on Amazon. And I think I paid 45 pound for mine. So this will go up to 15 amps without cutting out. And it is wired directly to the plus and negative of the diesel heater when you get them. And as you can tell, it's all a bit of a mess down there, but my diesel heater is firing up. I used to have a battery there, which is now there. And I'm gonna try and revive that by charging it. I might just add it to me transit camper. So I'm also a stealth van camper, if you wanna have a look at some of my other videos. So everything seems to be running. The pump's going crazy. And we're waiting for a bit of warmth to come out or for it to fire up. It might take a couple of goes because I haven't run this for probably 12 months or more. So looking all around the unit, it has got a fan. There's no further information came with this unit. It wasn't even an instruction manual. But that's what you're looking for. 15 amp mercury, 45 quid or thereabouts. But they'll go up in price because these diesel heaters are getting popular now for heating sheds and houses. So there we are, just waiting for everything to start up. Bit of warmth coming out of there now. So what you have got to remember with these power supplies is you switch the power supply on first, obviously. That will light up your clock on your diesel heater and then press start and off you go. But what you've also got to remember is when you switch it off, switch the diesel heater off first, let it run down its cycle because it needs to speed up to clear all the diesel that's in there and to cool itself down. And then when it stops, you can then switch the power supply off. I mean, do you need to switch the power supply off at any point really? You probably don't. I'd probably leave it on. It's not gonna use any current while it's not doing anything. But uh, in the interest of safety, probably switch it off. Also, remember to use the fuse holder that came with the unit. That's got a 15 amp fuse in it because as I will show you, it goes up to 10 amps on startup. So that really does give you an idea of how reliable these heaters are. This hasn't been on for two years, this heater. I would say two years, 18 months, two years, and that is blowing out piping hot heat. And that is the very first startup. I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna show you how many amps it pulls. Now I think they pull about maximum of 11 amps when it starts up but we'll be able to find out, let me show you. So there we are, so that's my setup. I've got the pump inside that box. That was a very poor attempt at making it quieter. Probably made it worse, I would say. <laughs> That's the diesel heater down there. The wires run up to my power supply. And then I've got a few fuses for a radio there. But that's off a separate 12 volt power supply, which is plugged in there. Then where do I keep my fuel? I keep it here. I put it by the door so I can just come in, whip that top off and fill my diesel up. Doesn't use a lot, pretty good on fuel. Uh, I haven't got any exact figures for you. But that's it, that's my setup. You might have noticed the old mini bikes. Let's just show you them. I built these when I used to work in a factory built out of old mopeds. That's mine. I've just reconditioned them, put new tires on, new inner tubes, new lamp at the front. And hopefully you're gonna see me go stealth camping in these babies. And that's my brother's. He likes a more comfortable seat by the look of it. <laughs>
So that's it for this one. You can hear that pump starting up again now. So I switched it off. I tried to get the amp regions, but I don't know. To be honest, that meter doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm not going to show because it's too embarrassing. So I don't really know what I was doing there. Got to be honest. Anyway, I need to get a better meter that's simple, straightforward, and just shows amps. Uh, so there we are. That is it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, have a look at my playlist. Click on through some Stealth Camping Alliance videos as well, where we do challenges every month. It's a lot of fun. We go stealth camping in different areas. Uh, I do a lot of van camping, but I also do some stealth camping with my wife, who I call Baby on the channel. And Martin Butler calls his wife Baby as well. That's not a copy. It's just something we both do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you clicking on my channel. Take it easy, Steve the Transit Camper, out. Time. Sorry, we lose mate. footage each Makes time. Makes the editing worse. Each time you swear. <laughs>